Hey guys, and welcome back. We're on the trail with the adventure. Uh, we're going to rip up a couple of different features out here in Gainesville. We got Sweetwater. We're going to run around those trails currently on the Hawthorne Trail. I'm out here with Brandon. Brandon's a new rider out here in Gainesville, Florida. He whips around a V12 high torque. He's new to it, but he's learning pretty quick. I like Brandons. What do I mean by a Brandon? I, I like I like new riders. I like watching them on their journeys, especially if they're really considerate, decent people that I would, you know, even want to have as a friend. There's a couple of reasons why I think new riders are absolutely awesome. First, old features become new. You know, you can take them to, you know, the old trails that you've been through a thousand times and watch them go through the same struggles that you went through and maybe take them to the first set of steps that you ever went to and kind of coach them through it and give them ideas on how you know they can get a little bit better than you and you can take them to the first ramps or you know the, the first little lap that you ever found the first little race tracks that you ever found so one old features become new and <laughs> that's pretty cool uh, it's nice to be reinvigorated. I mean, for me, all the features are new every single time that I go to them. But, you know, frankly speaking, it is a pretty cool thing. Watching the growth. So, so number two, I think watching growth is gratifying, right? Like seeing somebody develop the skills day to day, ride to ride, watch them get better and better and better. And, you know, seeing them fall here and there at first and then seeing them just not fall after a while. And just it's really awesome. So watching that growth is gratifying and being able to be a part of that growth is gratifying. Do be considerate though. So, you know, those are the two things that I really love, you know, uh, the old features become new and then, you know, the growth, it's really cool to be there for it, but be considerate of the safety and the skill level of your respective Brandons, right? Um, because they're going to want to keep up. They're going to want to try to do the things you do. So make sure you do it in a progressive way. That's not going to get them hurt. You know, don't rip them out into traffic day one and make sure you coach them through all the potholes that ate you up on the first go round. you know? So make sure you keep your Brandon safe. Uh, do you currently have a Brandon? I mean, like, like it, it, you know, or am I the only one that, that enjoys doing this, like bringing new people on board and kind of watching the process? Um, if you do have a Brandon, like, do you, what, what do you do? Like, what's your process of kind of bringing them into the fold? Uh, I would really, really like to know. So something that I never thought was going to be possible was like the scope of mobile gaming at this point in time. I never thought this was going to be possible, but with the advent of the Steam Deck and all the people trying to make money in its wake, we've got this really cool device called the ROG Ally. And I don't know if you are familiar with this device at all, but essentially this puts something like the power of a, a PS4, maybe, maybe PS5 kind of thing in your pocket. It's really crazy. The only thing is it doesn't have a whole lot of battery life, but you bring yourself a little battery pack out there with you and oh my goodness, there's just something so cool and so freeing about being able to get yourself away from everything and everybody and kind of set up your own little picnic in the middle of nowhere. And dude, I totally know it. People are, are, you know, there's some people that I tell this and they're like, wait, but you go in the middle of the woods and, and you go in the middle of, you know, nowhere to these beautiful places and you're just going to sit there and play video games. And you know what? Sometimes that's actually a vibe. Sometimes it's cool to just sit there and just be and just do your thing. You know, I mean, it's not always like meditation and silence and stuff. So um, am I the only one that is out here like doing this, this mobile gaming thing? Like, does anybody use a Steam Deck or a G Cloud or an ROG Ally? Did anybody hop on the Legion Go, the, the new Lenovo Legion Go? I'd be really interested to see kind of like what your gaming strategies and solutions are. And are you good with like a regular backpack for these things? Or are we using like these armored backpacks? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like I, these are all weird little silly considerations that I have to think about with, you know, riding around with, um, with a really expensive device on my back. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet.
No, seriously. Like if you were if you were lucky or unlucky enough, I mean, I think it's lucky enough to be around during like the 90s. There was this fabulous show called Captain Planet. And that's just a quick segue into this next notion, which is probably pretty silly. But I, I like I thought it was was something really entertaining and it's obvious. So I was talking, um, doing a video chat with Afiz from uh, E-Rides. Awesome, awesome pedals, guys. Seriously, if you don't know about the E-Rides pedals, go there. Check it out. Just Google it. E-Rides, like Iron Man pedals. It's crazy. Um, but I was talking to him and telling him how I thought the different EUC companies, their philosophies are built around the elements. And he was like, huh? And I was like, yeah, man. Like, like Bagode. Bagode is obviously fire, right? Like it's like a like this burning power, this like performance driven, like that's clearly what it is. This this power, this almost like destructive force of nature, and it's clearly that's it's bagod. I mean, if you if you juxtapose it against the others, and then um, what's another really easy one? Another easy one, obviously, um, in motion is water, right? Because like what is always in motion? Water, right? It's fluid. You know, like that's like the, you know, it's uh, it's safe. It has clear boundaries, you know, like it's very, very, very interesting. You know, look at the fire of Bagode. There's no real clear boundaries to the way that the philosophy of it is, just, you know, designed. It, it burns as far as you are willing to, to get close to it uh, in a very Icarus sense. And then, you know, whereas within motion, there's this power that you can push against a shore and, you know, you can, you can break against, you know, the levy of the power, but the power is clearly defined by this like tilt back sort of, you know, periphery of like, you know, a 20% safety margin typically built in. Well, it is built in whether or not it is executed perfectly by QC is, is another premise, but a 20% safety margin built into the power. Um, and then who's air, you know, this one, right? It's King song. King Song, you know, with its very, very uh, light body, which I would liken very much to like birds and hollow bones. It's it's very flight driven premise with its extra emphasis on uh, the the suspension and the travel. It's like it's crazy, but like literally, guys, it's so 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 obvious. And that leaves Earth, right? And so Earth is obviously veteran, you know, Leaperkim. It's reliable. It's sure, it's sure footed. It's steadfast. It's very simple, uh, very heavy, hard, um, you know, very, very cold in its presence, uh, but it's completely reliable. Very, very simple. And uh, to me, I, I thought that that was obvious and I thought it was super duper funny. And so whenever I see people like asking for the element of philosophy that one company holds from the element of philosophy that another company holds, it just makes me chuckle a little bit because it's very clear to me that there is a philosophy behind the way that these wheels are developed. And uh, it's, you know, I'm happy that that's the case because I want to see the most fiery thing. I want to see the most air thing. I want to see the most earth thing. Uh, I want to see the most water thing. I want to see the iteration of these philosophies being presented through the technologies. Right. And so to me, I think that's absolutely amazing. Uh, did you guys, is there any examples that I missed of like, you know, that validate this element uh, layout that I've given or is there, there any that you would like disagree with in terms of the way that I've presented it? I'm, I'm, I'm open, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not perfect by any regards. Have you ever thought about this before? Even in fact, um, Oh, <laughs> and then extreme bull is so funny because right. Like extreme bull is like a hybrid literally of Bagode, And then like what, what veteran is doing so literally they're trying to take the notion of the earth and the fire and bringing them together which you see is evident in the way that these things are built with its very very rigid uh simple approach to design but it's very very fiery uh, approach to performance and uh and safety <laughs> you know so um i thought that was pretty cool guys um what do you think what do you think about that guys I know it's a super duper, oh dude, totally watch this. This is like so fast. This, I mean, it's just one of my favorite little things to rip. So I love the twisties, especially if I do it at night. It's one of my favorite things, but, but, but yeah, that's beside the point. Guys, I, I've, I've got to just, it's, it's a huge elephant order swapping, you know, guys, we have to be better about this thing, you know? 
when these distributors, especially, you know, the big ones are ordering significant quantities of items based upon the orders that we are putting in there. And then, you know, you flip flop back and forth, we flip flop back and forth. And, you know, we end up going to the next thing that gets advertised. And I mean, sure, like, there's a lot more points to this than just us as consumers being so fickle and so like unloyal with the way that we put our intent out there um but you know i really think that if we dig deep and we look uh in terms of integrity with the way that we are as people um you know you'll see that you know when you make a commitment to a to a business um you know to a person um you know, to an animal, to anything, when you make a commitment, um, you know, that commitment is generally thought to be, you know, uh, a good handshake, you know, in, in the United States, it like it used to be used to be like, you know, you could shake a, a man's hand and you could have like some, some honor to that. And you look somebody in the eye and, you know, a man's word was, was something, you know, um, a person's word was something. And, you know, this was, this was good. Um, but, you know, I liken it to being dishonest to a degree because, you know, you put in a commitment and you say, yeah, I'm here for this. And then you don't show up for it. And, you know, I'm guilty. I'll be honest. I'm definitely guilty. I don't think it's right. And once I became aware, I stopped doing it. So just putting it out there, you know, the order swapping thing, it's like, it's a little, it's a little hectic and it's a little bit hard on businesses. Like as a person who communicates with a couple of different, you know, business owners, it's, it's okay. I mean, you know, like there, you know, I, I doubt that you're going to, well, you may, you may, may mess around and bankrupt some of these companies. I know it's harder for some of the companies in the EU um, that have to do, you know, smaller batch purchasing and don't necessarily get priority based upon the volume that they can purchase. So it's just something to consider, you know, my bad, just a little rant about the order swapping. Um, anyway, I mean, like, are you guilty? You know, uh, how do you feel about it? Have you ever order swapped? Uh, I'm sure we all have, you know, um, and, you know, just how do you feel about it? Am I, am I being too, too dramatic? You can tell me. I mean, like, if I'm being a big old baby, that's fine. Well, guys, it's almost over 2023. It's gone so dang fast. Thank every single one of you for your support. I really want to try to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and every single like share it, it all helps every single view helps so i thank you i thank you for your support i thank you for your continued support and i'm going to keep on trying to make this into the best place for us to hang out and be positive and talk about eucs and everything and life that wraps around them and I just wish all the best for you and your family, however the holidays come to you, no matter how you celebrate it. Thanks for kicking it, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Till then, later.